What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the new Destiny 2 Witch Queen trailer that goes over both the weapons and the gear. And there's all kinds of cool stuff in this video. I'm definitely looking forward to getting my hands on and making builds with. So in this video, we're going to quickly go over this trailer and pause and talk about a few of the things I'm super excited about. And before we get into all that good stuff, first a quick word about today's video sponsor, which is going to help me know life Witch Queen when it drops here in three weeks. This video was sponsored by HelloFresh. Get mouthwatering, seasonal recipes, and fresh, pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your front door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. No matter who you are and what's going on in the road, everyone's got to eat. So why not choose HelloFresh, who offers so many recipes to choose from each week that are both fresh and family friendly. And not to mention HelloFresh will help you reach your goals and regain your control over your food choices. For example, for me, HelloFresh changes the way I eat on a daily basis. When Witch Queen drops, I'll be in my room for 12 plus hours a day just to wake up and repeat it the next day. And I don't really have time to go grocery shopping for fresh food. And I like to avoid getting takeout delivered every single day. And HelloFresh has come in clutch with food that's not only good, but also very nutritious all while saving me time and removing stress of trying to figure out what to eat every single day. So if you're ready to find out why HelloFresh has more five star reviews than any other meal kit on the market, Use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGAIR16, P-O-G-AIR16, for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Gifts include free appetizers, free desserts, and free premium recipes. Once again, thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to pause along the way and talk about a few things. But right off the bat, on Mars is the new Reforger which looks very interesting where you'll be able to craft your weapons and we don't really have that many details of exactly how it'll work yet but as you see it seems like you're gonna be able to do both perks you know your rounds your magazine your mass work everything and i'm looking forward to seeing exactly how this works i think bungie's done knocking out of the park and completely nailed the system they've been working on it for quite some time I guess what I want from it is I still want to be in activities trying to get the weapons themselves, but I want this to be like a good way to change a weapon. If you get like a three out of five God roll or four or five and you're just missing that one last piece and you just simply can't get it. You've been in activity forever. I want this to be like a way to get around the situations. I don't want this to replace actually grinding for the weapons themselves, which I think they know that and they're not going to do that. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how it works, but I hope it's like a way to perfect a good roll or combine multiple good rolls into like the perfect roll and not simply just a way to replace like getting the weapon in the first place. I don't want this to be like, oh, you just get the weapon, take it to here and then customize it to exactly how you want and kind of kill the grind of actually getting weapons themselves. So moving on, some cool cinemax right there then the new exotics the first one right here is a slug launcher charges full auto missiles so this seems like something we've never had before and we'll just have to see it looks pretty interesting and the next one right here called the parasite it's a worm launcher with increasing damage it reminds me of the oni from year one which wasn't that crazy in pve it was mostly a pvp slash gambit weapon and this seems to be like the same concept, but it says increasing damage. So that could be pretty interesting in PVE, but I'm not too hopeful as right now. The next one they show off, I believe I remember correctly, is by far my favorite one. This SMG, it says swarming projectiles trigger a toxic burst. And if you look in the gameplay, it looks like whenever he hits like a few targets, it does the whole like poison spreading of the necrotic grips. So pairing this on Warlock with Necrotic Grip, if it works the same way as Thorn does and it kind of like combos and triggers the Necrotic Grip perk from the weapon kills itself, that pair with like something like Devour or even like Bottom Tree Solar could be among the best, if not one of the best actor builds in the entire game. And I love SMGs, as you know, I think they're among the best PV weapons in the game. So I'm definitely looking forward to this weapon. It's probably going to be one of my most used of the entire year. Now moving on to the glaze, it just says Titan Glaive, Edge of Action, so I'm not sure if this is a legendary or still exotic because, you know, they were just showing off exotic weapons, but it might be like swords where there were obviously a lot of legendary swords, but there's three that are specific to an individual character, and that's what I'm thinking these ones will be, and the Titan one will place a protective shield, which I guess is interesting, it's like a little bubble as you saw right there. Then on Warlock, it is the Glaive, Edge of Intent, and this one will do a healing turret, which could be pretty nice, just like a stasis turret, but will go down and then shoot off like healing projectiles, just like the boots of the assembler. That could be pretty good for 
a lot of different things in the game. And finally, the Hunter one, the Edge of Concurrence, it'll be a tracking chain lightning. So that could be pretty cool for some accurate builds, but at the same time, out of the three glaives, the one I'm most excited about is definitely the Warlock one. The healing turn just sounds really cool. Now moving on to the armor, I believe. As we'll see right here, the new Titan chest piece will be a stasis wall will replace the barricade. And you see right there, it does like a little glacier grenade with the five crystals. And I'm actually kind of excited about this because for stasis builds on Titan, I've always felt like the barricade was pretty much useless. But now if we replace it with what is pretty much a glacier grenade between the two fragments, the one that will give you grenade recharge rate when you break the crystals, also the one that will give you class ability energy back whenever you get frozen shatters, I believe. Between those two fragments and this exotic, that could be a pretty good build and make Stasis Titan a lot better in PvE. Now for the Warlock exotic, this one right here, additional cold snap with enhanced seeking. So having two cold snaps already is going to be pretty cool. But the Enhanced Seeking might be good for PvP, but in PvE, obviously, you just throw it close to them in the first place, so you don't really miss. But maybe it'll pair pretty nicely with Ice Flare Bolts, but as of right now, I'm not too excited about this one. It could be kind of useful, though. And finally, with the Hunter Exotic, it will be Reflected Projectiles still increase damage, which, once again, this seems more like a PvP Exotic. Depending on how much this increase is, it could be good in PvE. You could be like a frontline tank for like a DPS phase and block the damage. For example, if you're doing like an ogre boss fight in the dungeon, for example, ogres shoot very fast and do a lot of damage very quickly. So if you reflect that and it's increased damage, you know, that could be some pretty good DPS while protecting your team. So that could be kind of useful. But we'll just have to see what that increase is in PvE. And I believe that is most of the new stuff in this trailer. Now it's just some cool cinematics. So I'll get my mouse out of the way. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of things in there I'm super excited about. The Titan Exotic seems pretty cool. All the exotic weapons seem very interesting. And then I'm definitely by far the most excited about is the SMG. That just seems so fun. And it'll be really good for Group Actor, which you guys know I love to build around. And I'm still a little bit anxious about the Reforger on Mars and just how that will exactly work. I, I truly do have faith in Bungie that they'll do it correctly and it'll be extremely good. The only thing I'm worried about is if it kind of takes away from grinding the activities themselves, it might remove like the reason to actually be in activities and play them over and over again. But honestly, I don't think that'll be the case. And like I said, I think they'll knock it out of the park. I guess the only thing I was kind of disappointed about in this trailer is just the three exotics. They didn't seem that great and two of them were stasis based. And with this next year being about Void 3.0, I thought they would be just general exotics or if anything, they would be void based, not still stasis. But, you know, it is what it is. And yeah, this trailer was packed with a lot of cool stuff, a lot of great stuff to look forward to, a lot of stuff to build around. And yeah, I think that is it. Just like you see on the screen right now, if you want to pre-order the Witch Queen, you can do so on my Nexus store if you play on Steam. Same price as ordering on Steam itself. But instead of a portion of it going to Steam, the corporation, it'll go to me instead. And it'll show you exactly how much that is on the website. You can always do that by clicking the link in the description. Anyways, in the comments below, let me know what from this video you're most excited about. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.